y'all welcome to my channel for those of you that are new here my name is Blair very happy to have you today's video we're gonna go ahead and do something a little different I'm sure y'all can tell because I don't have any makeup on wanted to go ahead and show y'all my brow routine from tinting my brows to how I fill in my brows on a regular basis as far as tinting my brows, I do do it once a month because I was not born with these beautiful brown creatures that sit on my face every day. My eyebrows are naturally blonde, so you know, just like everything else in this day and age, if you don't like it, fix it. So, that's what I'm going to show y'all how to do today. But before we do get started, as always, if you have not already, please make sure to subscribe. Yes, you, you, you there, subscribe. Once you do subscribe, please make sure to hit the little bell notification button down below so you will be notified every time I upload a new video, which if I keep on my current schedule should be every Monday and Thursday. If you do like this video, go ahead and make sure to give it a thumbs up. It will be much appreciated. And as always, please follow me on all social media platforms. They will be listed in the description box down below. But now that we got all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So to do the actual brow tinting, you are gonna need a few products. Um, all of these I believe you can find at Walmart. Um, for the actual tinting itself, you're gonna need the, the Just For Men Mustache and Beard. I use the shade Dark Brown. In the box, it will come with... In the box, it'll come with a little tray for you to mix your colors. And then it also comes with the color developer. And the color base. Along with that, you will need a spoolie. Um, we're gonna put some Vaseline on our face just to frame the eyebrows so the color itself doesn't stain your skin. A few Q-tips and some wipes to remove the product at the end. I like using makeup remover wipes. I just feel like they're a little bit stronger than standard, say, baby wipes. And of course, you'll need a mirror. You know, we want to know what we're doing. So the good thing about the Just For Men, it does come in, like I said, the little tubes. Um, so you can save these. You don't have to throw them out after you've used them. You're going to need a little bit of each of the tubes, so they are going to last you several uses. But before we do apply that to our skin, like I said, we want to prep around the eyebrow. You'll take your spoolie, just fluff your eyebrows out. Take your Vaseline and a Q-tip. Kind of just want to take the Q-tip and dip it into the Vaseline. And then you'll just go around your eyebrows to frame them. Try to avoid getting it on the hairs that you do want to tint because that'll stop the color from taking. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Vaseline on and I will be right back. So now that we have the Vaseline on and the skin around our eyebrows is nice and shiny, we are going to go ahead and take the little tray that I talked about earlier and the color base. You really just want a small, small amount in the tray. So when I say small, I mean small. Really just want a little dab like that in there. And you'll want the same amount for the developer. So once you have both of those in the tray like so, we're going to take our little spoolie and just blend it together. If you do feel like you need more, of course, feel free. Once you have it nice and blended, you just want to take the spoolie and just brush it through your brows. Just make sure you're evenly applying the color all over. And if you get some on your face, it's fine because we put the Vaseline down. 
everything serves a purpose, guys. So once you have the color down, we are gonna leave it on for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer on my phone for 10 minutes. In the meantime, while you're waiting on the 10 minutes to go by, I like to take the other side of the Q-tip that I used and just kind of go around just to shape them up, just to avoid any possible color transfer, you know, in case you didn't get all the way up in there with the Vaseline, just to make sure, you know, we're not walking around with crazy looking brows. Now that we have had it on for 10 minutes, we're going to take our makeup wipes. You will only need one. And just go ahead and wrap it kind of around your finger. And you just kind of want to buff while you're wiping the color away. Just to make sure we get any excess product out of our eyebrows. And there we go. Now, as y'all saw when we first started, um, I clearly have blonde eyebrows. And now they are a beautiful brown. You could leave them like this. They do look very natural without any type of filler or anything. But as always, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brow. So for my actual brow routine, I do use three products. Um, they are all Benefit. have the Bravo Conditioning Primer the Precisely My Brow in shade 4 and the Gimme Brow in shade 4 as well. So we're just going to take the primer here, do a few clicks and just stroke that through our brows. So once you feel that the primer is dry, you can go ahead and go in with whatever you're going to use on your brows. Like I said, I'm going to take the Precisely My Brow in shade 4 and just fill them in. I do always start at the beginning and just draw a line throughout the bottom of my brows. So once you have the bottom drawn out, we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the top. I do like to start about right here don't necessarily fill in the front as much just start about right here with that line my brows don't match either so trying to get them to match is oftentimes the most difficult part of this so once you have the line on the top filled in you can go ahead and just fill in the brows themselves just doing some strokes with the pencil itself, just filling them in. Once you feel like you have the tail pretty even, you're just gonna go in towards the front and we're just gonna go up making hair-like strokes. We do want the front of our brows to be less filled in just so they look more natural. So once you feel like you have them filled in nicely and everything matches, you'll just take the spoolie in and go ahead and kind of brush that throughout your brows just to blend everything together. And you don't have to do this step, but I am going to take the Gimme Brow. You can use any brow gel, tinted brow gel, whatever you have on hand and just brush through the brows just to give them a more fluffy look. 
So once you have the brow gel on there, you can just wait for it to dry. If you have any sparse spots that you see throughout the brows, you can go back in with your brow pencil and just fill that in. Okay guys, so these are our brows all finished up now that we did our tinting and filled them in. I hope y'all liked this video. If y'all want any more kind of DIY videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. But as always, I thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all so much. And I'll see everybody in my next video. Bye guys.